Hey guys, Josiah with Browns here. I'm gonna show you really quick how to start and operate your pressure washing machine. I'm also gonna go over a few features that you may not know about your machine. Here is your, your Honda GX690. Um, it has 3,500 on here because it's rated for 3,500 PSI. Um, you've got your throttle right here on the right with this gray handle. It can go up and down. Um, you'll always wanna keep this up when running um, so you never really have to touch the throttle at all. Just leave that up. This right here is your choke. Whenever you're starting your machine, you wanna pull the choke all the way out, turn the key, start it. Once it starts, you can slowly push your choke back in. Here is your key. Obviously you got off, engine on, and this is all the way to the right is start. When you've got it on, you can see the hours on the machine. So right now we've almost ran this 800 hours. So that is basically how you start your pressure washer. Actually, let me go ahead and show you. So throttle up, choke out. And that's how you start it. This box to the right of it is actually your pump. And this is, this is belt driven, so the engine is driving a belt, which is making this pump work. The pump is pulling water from the backside into here, which is pressurizing it, and then the output is right where this black knob is. This whole system that you see right here with these two hoses and this black knob, this is called an unloader. And what this does is it takes the pressure off of the pump when you're not engaging the handle. So when you let off your pressure washing handle, this this uh, this black handle, there's a spring in it, and it engages and redirects the water through this black hose back into the top of your buffer tank. And so keeps the water constantly circulating, keeps the pressure off the pump, and makes it last a lot longer. These are your two uh, oil drain plugs. A lot of people think that this is actually Coke and root beer um, tap, but it's not. This says choke, not Coke, so you can't actually get Coke out of this machine. Um, but anyways, so this is your oil drain plug area. This right here, this gray cap is actually, if I can get it off, where you would put your new oil into. And then the this right here behind it is your oil dipstick. And so this is how you check the oil levels of your machine. On the left side over here, I'm gonna show you, this is where the oil filter is. Every time we change an oil filter, we put duct tape on it and we document when the last time we changed it was. This little cylinder right here is actually your fuel filter. So oftentimes, if your machine is acting like it's not getting enough fuel um, or it's not, it's acting like it's running out of gas, but you've got gas in your tank, a lot of times this can get clogged. And um, obviously you've got your spark plug right here. On top, you can flip these caps open. And this whole lid comes off, which will reveal the air filter for the machine. The Honda GX690 is a great machine. We run only GX690s. We've got one that's not, and it's actually been giving us a lot of trouble. So we try to stick with Hondas. They're great. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the basics. We've got some, some nozzles here. Um, if you don't have your J-Rod set up, these machines do come with some nozzles that you can use uh, for whatever you might need. So, there you go.